Kieran, thanks for talking to us. It feels like a little while. It's been an extended period without a game. How have you made the most of it? I'm sure a chance for some of the lads to recover with a day or two off as well. Yeah, and we had a game as well, so that was um, that was part of it. So, no, it's been a good period. Um, of course, a, a while without a league game, but we've been working hard. Um, the players have trained really well. The time they've had here, of course, yeah, we managed to get some some minutes into those who needed minutes, and and we've had some recovery for those who need recovery as well. So everyone's just really looking forward to the game now. It's a fantastic game ahead, an exciting um, five or six week period or whatever it is to the last league game as well. So we we just can't wait to get out there on Saturday night. Yeah, just a quick one on the Spurs game. Did it just tick all the boxes that you needed ticked? Some minutes for the lads. Exactly. Um, yeah, we wanted to use that period to get some minutes into the. The players who haven't played um, as much lately, and we managed to do that, and um, that leaves us in a good in good stead now for the run in, where everyone's up to speed and, and ready to contribute when needed. And two of the lads that went and got minutes, but elsewhere, Wes Burns and Nathan Broadhead with Wales, um, good for Wales to add a cap. But the story was Nathan scoring on his debut, and he must have nice he must have got a nice welcome back. Sorry. Yeah, everyone was really happy for him, of course. Um, happy for both the boys. Uh, both popular members of the group, the lads have, have taken to Nathan really quickly and, and everyone was really happy for him because of the, the character that he is. So, um, yeah, that was uh, that was nice for everyone at the club, but um, they, they both came in with a determination now and fit by, right back into the group, knowing that the, there's a big game on Saturday and everyone needs to be ready to go. Yeah, an exciting five or six uh, weeks coming up. Starts with Derby and what do you expect? Yeah, we're looking forward to a really good game, tough game, of course. Um, yeah, good stadium, nice big pitch, um, really tough opponent um, and we're going to have to be at our best but these are the challenges that we want at this stage of the season. Um, we had a, a big, every game is a big challenge in the league anyway. Our last away game was a was a big challenge away to Bolton again in a, in a big stadium against a good team and, and this is um, you know a challenge at least equal of that again. So we know we're going to have to do really, really well on a lot of things. Um, but also we know we're in good form and, and we're looking forward to the game. So, yeah, it's it's one that we can't wait to, to get started. On a personal note, you've always seemed to, you know, really use the word excitement about these games and a game to look forward to. Is this another one of those, you know, 3,000 plus fans? You mentioned the big pitch, good stadium, that kind of thing. Definitely. I think this is, you know, certainly one of those fixtures that, you know, you, you want to be in the game for, you know, wherever, wherever we were in the league at this point, wherever they were in the league, what the form was. You know, you'd be looking at this game at the start of the season, thinking, "Oh, what a, what a great fixture! What a good challenge to go and test ourselves." And um, that's certainly what it's going to be. So, yeah, we've we've been really, you know, keen to emphasise for the boys that this stage of the season isn't for isn't for for attention. You know, we we wanted to be in a good position where we're we're fighting for things and we're in a good position. So now let's go and enjoy it and keep attacking each game that we have. Let's stay on the front foot, go and try and win games and see where it takes us. So we we're. Uh, we're positive, we're looking forward to it. We, we respect the opponent and we're humble about the challenge, but we also um, are looking to go and, and keep going with what we've been doing. And on the run-in as a whole, is this another period to to be excited about as a whole? Because it's not going to be football ability that's just tested, it's, it's character and resilience. And how do you call upon the dressing room for that? Yeah, that's what you build all season. You can't turn it on now. You can't certainly get to this point and start thinking, oh, we're going to need resilience or we're going to need team spirit or we're going to need to back each other. You work on that from the first day of pre-season. So yeah. we've worked hard again since the first day of pre-season. We've worked hard all season. We've we've tried to be consistent with our performance levels and with our messages, and um, that puts you in a position that if you can, you know, pick up enough points, then you're you're there thereabouts at the end of the season to fight for things. And from here on in, it's about again being consistent, keeping doing the things we've been doing, and um, trust that that's uh, that's going to give us a good chance to go and win games and give us a good chance to to beat really tough opponents that we have coming up on Saturday.